Well, Binance isn't the same as FTX. This has been expected for some time. He pled guilty. And his successor, um, Richard Tang, who has been in um, uh, the chief executive position of the Asia Pacific markets for some time, has stepped in already and announced that yesterday. There's a lot of similarities between Binance and FTX, and we can explore those if you've got time. But um, I don't think we're going to see the exchange just close down and lock out all its users. Professor, let's just go there. What were the similarities then as you take a look at FTX and Binance as both now have had regulatory problems? Yeah, well, um, the um, SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, is the next one to come for Binance, and that contains a lot more meat, uh, and, and the similarities are there. So the SEC is also accusing it um, of using virtual private networks for US users to transact unwittingly with terrorists using these sort of Hydra and be best mixer marketplaces, so they don't know that... Uh, and, and this is happening on um, Binance, was happening on um, FTX. But the major um, problems with FTX are also apparent in Binance. Um, and one of the things that the SEC, they've got 13 charges, um, um, started in June last year. So it will be a while before they're brought. But um, the market makers, um, Merit, Pete and, and Sigma, very like the Alameda market makers. Um, so they're given priority and... Um, the SEC are accusing them of manipulating the prices. And the Binance exchange being so large, um, it leads prices all over the cryptocurrency sphere. So if Merit Peak and Sigma are manipulating the Bitcoin price up and down, one of the reasons why Bitcoin and the rest of crypto is so volatile, then um, this would be something that they'd be put in jail for if they were doing it on the New York Stock Exchange. And then the, uh, the one thing that really concerns me is this multifunction role that um, Binance and um, FTX and all, there's 120 other exchanges, all completely unregulated and all taking the role of clearing. Uh, so there's no independent clearing, there's no margin calls, and customers are just wiped out overnight because these things trade 24 7. So all these things, many other things as well, in, in common with FTX. Carol, you mentioned the unregulated nature of many of these exchanges. We've seen a lot of regulatory action from the SEC now, from the DOJ. Does this mean that we get more regulation, particularly in the US, around crypto? It's difficult. It's a bit like a hydra. You know, you cut off one head and another one grows. The next ones will be up bit. I mean, the share of, of, of Binance has halved in the last six months. It used to be very, very dominant. I mean, it's still dominant, but... Upbit and OPEX and all these other exchanges are now taking the custom of terrorists and high net worth individuals that want to trade on VPNs. And Carol, in terms of um, Binance's his own position uh, as well, do you think that it can retain sort of its leading position in the market? Do you think it'll become more compliant with uh, some oh, of the regulations well, in the US? Yeah. Well, Richard Tang specialises in security and compliance, and it's been known for about six months that he was going to step in to take CZ's position. Um, so they're definitely going to do their very best to comply. But of course, there are so many cases, as you say, it's not just the SEC and the Department of Justice. The number of class actions and individual civil disputes that the Hong Kong Arbitration Court needs to deal with for customers that have uh, you know, the, well, I can't go into too many details, but um, the lawyers in Binance are very busy. And of course, the, the senior staff have all been quitting. The general counsel's gone, the head of compliance has gone, strategy, intelligence, and, and various um, CEOs, Binance US, of course. So they are in, in problems. Um, I, I don't think they're going to um, be the dominant exchange going forward. Carol, is there a solution? You mentioned the difficulties being a hydra. You need the appetite to do something and you need the ability to do something. And then once you've done that, you need the teeth behind it as well in terms of fining and, and punishments. Is any of that possible then? You sound very downbeat about the prospect. Well, if anybody can do it, the SEC can. Um, the CFTC joined with the Department of Just Justice and, of course, the Treasury Department um, in this latest fine of $4.3 billion, the largest in history. Um, but the SEC, they've got 9,000 staff. And of course, Gary Gensler and Dan Bernstein, they, they really know what they're doing. Um, and so it'll take some time, but I, I do think that 
the threat of SEC going after them. It's regulation through litigation. The only way we're going to get this space regulated is to have global coordination because most of these companies have no domicile at all, including finance, you know, eventually. Where, where was he living? In Abu Dhabi, I think. Oh, no, the U United Arab Emirates, they found him, um, CZ. But, yeah, I mean, who knows where the company offices are and how you can, how you can litigate against them? It's very hard.